Hello and welcome to today's video, where we will explore the amazing world of aircraft carriers. Imagine a massive warship that can carry dozens of fighter jets and helicopters across the oceans, launch and land them in a matter of seconds, and unleash devastating firepower on any enemy that dares to challenge it. This is not science fiction. This is an aircraft carrier. And today, we will show you how they work and what makes them so capable. Let's find out. The first thing you need to know about aircraft carriers is that they are huge. The largest carriers in the world are the U.S. Navy's Nimitz-class nuclear-powered supercarriers, which measure over 1,000 feet, 300 meters, long and weigh over 100,000 tons. They can carry around 80 aircraft of various types, including fighters, strike aircraft, helicopters, and surveillance planes. They also have a crew of about 5,000 people, who live and work on board the ship. The main feature of an aircraft carrier is the flight deck, a flat surface on the top of the ship where aircraft can take off and land. To facilitate short takeoffs and landings, air speeds over the deck are increased by turning the ship into the wind. The flight deck is divided into four areas. The bow area, where aircraft are launched by catapults. The waste area, where helicopters operate. The landing area, where aircraft touch down with the help of arresting wires and the park area, where aircraft are moved by tractors or tow bars. Below the flight deck is the hangar deck, an area where aircraft are stored when not in use. The hangar deck is connected to the flight deck by four large elevators, which can lift aircraft up and down in a matter of seconds. The hangar deck also contains workshops, maintenance facilities, fuel stations, and weapons magazines for servicing and arming the aircraft. Another important feature of an aircraft carrier is the island, a building on top of the flight deck where officers can direct flight and ship operations. The island contains the bridge, where the captain and his staff control the ship's navigation and steering, the flag bridge, where the admiral and his staff coordinate fleet activities, the primary flight control, pre-fly, where air traffic controllers manage all airborne and deck operations, and various radar and communication systems. The heart of an aircraft carrier is its power plant and propulsion system. The U.S. Navy's supercarriers use two nuclear reactors to generate steam, which drives four propeller shafts that propel the ship at speeds of over 30 knots, 35 miles per hour or 56 kilometers per hour. The steam also powers four turbo generators that produce electricity for the entire ship. The nuclear reactors enable the carriers to operate for up to 25 years without refueling, giving them unparalleled endurance and range. The advantages of aircraft carriers are many. They can project air power worldwide without depending on local bases for staging aircraft operations. They can support and operate aircraft that engage in attacks on airborne, afloat and ashore targets that threaten free use of the sea. They can serve as mobile command centers for military operations, providing intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, communication, and coordination capabilities. They can also provide humanitarian assistance and disaster relief in times of crisis. Aircraft carriers are not invincible, however. They face threats from submarines, missiles, mines, torpedoes, and enemy aircraft. They also require extensive protection from escort ships such as cruisers, destroyers, frigates, and submarines. They are expensive to build and maintain, costing billions of dollars each and they are subject to political and diplomatic constraints that may limit their access to certain regions or waters. Nevertheless, aircraft carriers remain indispensable for countries that aspire to strategic international influence. As former U.S. Secretary of State Henry Kissinger once said, an aircraft carrier is 100 million tons of diplomacy. According to various sources, as of 2023, there are 14 countries that have aircraft carriers in service, under construction, or planned. These are 1. United States of America, 11 aircraft carriers, 9 helo carriers. 2. India, 2 aircraft carriers, 3 planned. 3. Italy, 2 aircraft carriers, 1 under construction. 4. Japan, 2 helo carriers, 2 being converted to light aircraft carriers. 5. China, two aircraft carriers, one helo carrier, one under construction, seven planned. 6. France, one aircraft carrier, three helo carriers, one planned. 7. United Kingdom, 
two aircraft carriers. 8. Australia, two helo carriers. 9. Egypt, two helo carriers. 10. South Korea, two helo carriers, three planned. 11. Russia, one aircraft carrier, two under construction, one planned. 12. Spain, one aircraft carrier, helo carrier. 13. Thailand, one helo carrier. 14. Turkey, one under construction, three planned. That's all for today's video. I hope you learned something new about how aircraft carriers work and their capabilities. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel for more interesting topics. Thank you for watching and see you next time.